future. It was supposed to be flying cars and a 32 hour work week. Well, still no sign of the flying cars, but the U.S. Senate held a hearing today on the need for a 32 hour work week with no loss in pay. Washington correspondent Basil John reports on whether this could become a reality. The hearing only lasted an hour and a half, but some senators said their priority was just to bring attention to an issue that hasn't seen action in Congress in decades. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders said it's time to cut down the number of hours Americans are allowed to work weekly. In fact, the last time, as we understand it, the Senate held a hearing on this subject was in the year 1955. <laughs> With advancements in technology, Sanders said a 32-hour work week should be the norm with many working Americans now more productive than ever. Despite an explosion, as we all know, in technology and a massive increase in worker productivity, nothing has changed. Despite his push, Republicans like Indiana Senator Mike Braun fear a federal mandate would crush small businesses. I'm not worried about big corporations. They generally are going to land on their feet anyway. But what about Main Street and small business? This doesn't work for small business. And Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy said many small businesses don't rely on AI or other new technologies. So their employees would be forced to work overtime to get the same job done costing the small business more money. But a mom and pop restaurant is not really seeing increased productivity from AI. They're having trouble finding enough people to fill shifts. Cassidy also noted there is no law in place stopping companies who want to implement a 32 hour work week on their own. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.